There are quite a few super scalar inspired racing games around, taking influence from the likes of Outrun, but I've not seen one that adds the combat spin of the Chase HQ series, so I had to check this one out. I'm Kutsky, and this is my review of Brutal Chase Turbo on Nintendo Switch. Get ready! Brutal Chase Turbo is a single developer project inspired by the late 80s arcade action racer Chase HQ, where your goal, rather than hitting checkpoints and finishing ahead of rivals within the allotted time, is to take down your rivals by smashing into them. The gameplay is very intuitive, your car auto accelerates and your skill is used to weave in and out of the traffic, as well as managing your turbo and braking to catch and destroy your targets. The action takes place across 9 locations with 12 stages in each area. You have a selection of 2 vehicles to choose from at the start with another 3 unlocking as you progress your way through the game and each car is upgradable using the currency that you earn each time you take on a mission. The game starts painfully easy and has a steady difficulty curve to the point where I'm at the end of the game now, maybe 10 or so hours in and I'm struggling to complete the last 3 levels with the fully upgraded top car so it's definitely suitable for all levels of gamers. The graphics are quite striking, and honestly, that's what sparked my interest in the game. They may be quite bland by today's standards, but it really reminds me of the PS2 era of arcade racing games. Are we far enough removed from that generation of consoles that it's cool to have that retro look now? I like it anyway. Even the relatively low resolution panorama backgrounds look surprisingly effective when you're focused on the action of the game and it runs at a solid 60 FPS, docked and handheld, which enhances the feeling of speed and smoothness. The music's the only part of the game that isn't created by the one-person developer at House of Pandas. Composer Matt McFarland provides a nice range of energetic electronic dance music tracks. Some additions that would have been welcome to the game are maybe a simple story for each mission, like Chase HQ, some art at the end of each stage showing the captured criminals, maybe adding some weapons to the cars to vary up the gameplay a little bit, and have unique vehicle models for the enemies would help give it a little bit more personality, I think. But understanding the restraints of creating a game like this single-handedly, these are more requests for any potential sequel rather than a criticism of this game. Overall, I had a lot of fun with Brutal Chase Turbo. It's a relatively simple, yet fun and addictive arcade racer, with a low-budget, yet charming style. If you're looking for an alternative to Forza or Gran Turismo, this obviously isn't going to be for you, but if you're looking for a fun palate cleanser to pick up and play in short bursts, then Brutal Chase Turbo is well worth the £5.99 asking price at launch. Hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If so, please drop me a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep up to date with future videos. Thank you for watching and until next time, this is Kutsky signing out, keeping the games alive. Yeah.